Winter has a quiet exuberance. It's dormant, and you have to look closer to see it. Because there's not all this festooning of colors and vibrant life, you have to look into the bones of it. You can see that it's still alive, but it's this dormant sleeping life, the structure beneath it. That's what's visible in winter. When I look at the hotel with its dark windows, it's almost like dark eyes looking out. It's the great waiting of winter. Everything's dark, and there's that sort of whisper of wind, and it just feels hulking there and biding its time until life comes back. When I was growing up, I found images of tall ships, and I was drawn to that. I fantasized that I would somehow go to sea when I got older. And now, here I am alone on an island. I've been the caretaker for 19 years here. This is my 19th winter. It's the thing I look forward to all year. And then when I come back out here, it's, it's like a homecoming. All those details of mainland life just fall away. As a kid, I spent a lot of time alone. I was a bit shy. I didn't have a lot of friends. I think that's when I first realized that being alone had its advantages. It was peaceful, and yet I could also use my imagination. You have to be at peace with the fact that something might happen and you might not make it through. There are some storms where there would be no help. Even the Coast Guard would have a hard time coming out in some of these storms. I would be okay with it. I would have gone doing what I love. There's been stories of ghosts out here. Sometimes it feels like there is a presence, but it always feels welcoming in some way. I don't disbelieve in anything. I think anything's possible. But if there are ghosts out here, I will say that they're being extremely kind to me.
there was someone here once. A kayaker had come out, and he thought the place was abandoned. I was checking some of the rooms, and I heard him upstairs, and I didn't know that it was a person. And as a caretaker, I have to go check out what this sound is. Suddenly, I saw this arm emerge from the room, and as he stepped out further, and he looked down at me, and I looked up at him, his whole face drained of color. And he said, oh my God, I thought you were a ghost. Of course, I escorted him out, because that's one of my jobs, is to not let people on the island. There is definitely a beauty in the appearance of life and death on the island. Being alone here and seeing the struggle of winter, it makes me feel connected to that web of life in a way that I don't normally feel on the mainland. The romance of the sea got me at an early age. The wildness of it fascinated me, so I photographed that. On the island here, there's a vastness about it, and that's what I photograph. I really have a relationship with this place because my job is also my passion. This is what I'm living, and I'm photographing my life and what surrounds me.
when I open a door and I walk into one of the old buildings, the hotel, I just get that feeling that life has happened here and people have passed through here. Care has been given to this place. These old buildings, they've seen life come and go. These things are lasting and will outlast us. There's something to be said for having the day completely to yourself and making of it what you will. It's a challenge being alone. There's no other distractions except what's out there. I think if I didn't have this particular situation on this island every winter, that I would have to find something similar. I would need that immediate connection to the natural world that I have here. I feel like I need this. <laughs> 